Welcome! Before setting up the Image Prograph L-Series Scanner, you should first upgrade the firmware of the scanner. This video describes the steps in the procedure. Before getting started, it's advisable to download the user's guide from the Canon website. If the scanner has been previously installed, you will need to find the existing IP address of the scanner. Press the right arrow button until you reach the Settings menu, then press OK. With the information icon highlighted, press OK. You can see the IP address here. Make a note of these settings so that you can re-input the IP address at the end of the procedure. Before proceeding further, go to the back of the scanner and remove the return guides. From the Canon website, download the new scanner firmware. You will need a USB memory stick with the following specifications. The new firmware needs to be extracted onto the root directory of the USB memory stick. Insert your USB memory stick into the USB port of the scanner. At the home screen, press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu, then press OK. Press the right arrow button twice. This is the firmware upgrade icon. Press OK. The scanner will begin the firmware upgrade process. After you have installed the firmware upgrade, you will need to enter some settings for the scanner and perform two types of calibration. Let's do them right now. The next step is to set the model type of the scanner. Press the left arrow button and the stop button at the same time. Now, press the left button until you reach 36 or 24. In this case, it's a 36 inch scanner. Press OK. This tick symbol indicates that the change was successful. Now, turn the scanner off, wait a moment, and then turn the scanner on again. The next step is to set the light level of the scanner. As before, press the left arrow button and the stop button at the same time. Press the right arrow button three times to highlight the light level icon. Press OK. Now, turn the scanner off, wait a moment, and then on again. The next step is to perform the black and white scanner calibration. Press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu. Press OK. Press the right arrow button until you reach this black and white scanner calibration icon. Press OK. Prepare the scanner calibration sheet. Follow the on-screen instructions to feed the calibration sheet. At the end of the calibration process, as before, turn the scanner off and then on again. The next step is the auto stitch calibration. Press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu, then press OK. Press the right arrow button until you reach the rightmost icon. This is the auto stitch scanner calibration icon. Prepare the test chart. Press OK. Follow the on screen instructions to feed the test chart. The test chart will exit at the rear of the scanner. Now turn the scanner off and then on again. The next step is to set the motor speed of the scanner. Press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu, then press OK. Press the right arrow button five times until you reach the motor speed icon. Press OK. Set the motor speed to the default speed of 1.0. Press OK. Now, Turn the scanner off and then on again. The final step is to set the IP address of the scanner. Press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu, then press OK. Press the right arrow button to reach the network settings icon. Press OK. You can choose to use DHCP or a static IP address. Today, we will use a static IP address. Press the right button to highlight static. Press OK. Enter each digit of the IP address that you wish to apply, followed by the OK button. Now, set the subnet mask in the same way that you set the IP address, then press OK. As before, turn the scanner off and then on again. Finally, press the right arrow button until you reach the settings menu, then press OK. With the information icon highlighted, press OK. This screen will help you to confirm that you have upgraded the firmware of the scanner and that the correct IP address 
and subnet mask have been set. You can now go to the back of the scanner to replace the return guides. All done! To find more helpful resources for your Canon large format printer, browse our Canon Business AU YouTube channel and visit us at canon.com.au.